Jeff Bubik to midcourt to toss it up. And this one out of bounds and belongs to Bethune Cookman. Four, and here they are at Georgia Tech tonight. Harassing defense for the Jackets. Putting up the jump shots. Leon Red, he nails it. Bethune Cookman. Quick tempo, but they cough it up 18 times a game. That could be a problem. Moore off the window. The follow is good by Moses Wright. There's four seniors in the starting lineup. Now inside, this is Pope, the man we highlighted on our open, and a nice-looking baseline jump shot. He's a guy that you're going to see very good motor. He's going to look to be aggressive early. You see him that the block? Big block. Whoa. Wildcats on the push. Jackets start one of six. Isaiah Bailey, number 22, inside the Pope, and he jams it. Allow Bubba Parham to get going. French drills the three, and it's a 9-2 lead for Bethune-Cookman. Nice cut. DeVoe drops it in. Nice pass by Moses Wright for the Wildcats. Moore connects. That's one of the things about his game this year is mature. Uh, you've got a bunch of guys that have come from different places, but they've formed a team and they've hung in there together. And now they're off to a terrific start as Wally Parks hits from the middle of the lane. I think that when you have some shots go in, it, it, it takes away from the jitters of playing on the road, to playing against a power five team. Oh. Evan Cole oh, with a Whoa. nice finish. Rip Rattler. James Banks has checked in after the first timeout. Little floater is good by Joe French. That's been a hallmark of Josh Pastner here on the flats. A little push shot, no, but the follow is good. And inside, there he is. Clotrell Pope has six. Established himself offensively. Got to give him some more touches under the basket. Staggered screen for Maitland. Now Bailey going up and in. Isaiah Bailey. Not playing because what it does is that he's a guy that kind of gets everyone going and allows them to get their shots. Georgia Tech still making some adjustments without him. Thanks. Nice post move. Hope. Good activity to tap that one back out. Bailey. 4-3. Bubba Parham puts it in. Can't turn the ball over. So far, they've been able to get their looks and do a good job of finishing. DeVoe, nice. Right to the front of the rim. Let's begin to the lane. The fact that he's super efficient, too. Doesn't need a ton of shots to be able to get those points. Jackets high low for the dunk by Moses Wright. And a timeout for Bethune Cookman. The zone has served Georgia Tech well. Well, that's one of the things that Josh Pass is going to do is give them looks, different looks. Oh, what a block by DeVoe. Good recovery by Michael DeVoe. Loose ball. Wildcats save the possession. Seven. Six on the shot clock. The floater is good by Leon Red. Banks rejected. Pope got that one. It's more so having a knack for the ball and just going to get it. Nice cut. Nice pass. Excellent block. Banks knocks it out of bounds. It remains 23-17. Bailey looking to make a move. On DeVoe, puts it in. How about the patience by Bailey realizing he had a smaller the team that is a lot more offensive-minded. To go with defense makes them a, a more di difficult team to deal with. And a good look from the top. A three for Joe French. And we're talking about Brian Ritter super excited about his freshman ball club along with the veterans he has. Good-looking jumper from Moses Wright. Last time, Evan Cole doing a good job of being able to follow that penetration and not give up on the play. Nice lob, Evan Cole. Parham into the paint. Nice pass and the jam by Moses Wright. Nice penetration by Bubba Parks. Nice little dump off in the finish by Moses Wright. Tough attempt against the D, but there he is again. Grabbing the ball to midair. Clotrell Pope laying it home. There are two losses. Maitland drills it. He got a good look. Again, this is a team that's got some weapons. It's some guys that can get to the basket and create their own offense. Nothing but net from the wing from Michael DeVoe. Saving it. He's Bailey. Turns. 
contested shot. It puts it in. Oh, that was a tough shot. DeVoe on the wing. Getting to that strong left hand. The southpaw. Scoop to the hoop is good. Are you kidding me? How about the patience by Michael DeVoe realizing efficient inside and out on the offensive end? Six seconds, five. Harab off the elbow. Connects with two seconds to go in the half. The horn sounds, and the first half is history. Be called upon here in the second half. But this is two free throws, and there is Banks with the fingertip tip in. Pressure on them to get back. Again, Georgia Tech wants to get easy opportunities. You see the nice pass over to DeVoe. The rebound. Battling his own man. Here's Maitland. Little bit of an avenue, but that is shut down a roadblock. Rising up, Wally Parks. Good looking jump shot by Wally Parks. Banks has shut down the lane. DeVoe at the other end. Georgia Tech by two. Oh, nice fake. Rolled it over the front of the rim. Picked up by Isaiah Bailey. Seemingly, the uh, Wildcats have weathered the storm. Pope takes it in for the dunk. And winding up Moses Wright. Get out of my way. Impressive. Surrounded. DeVoe loads up from the corner. Oh, got a little give and go, but instead it's going to be a corner three for Jordan Priester, his first field goal of the game. With that last possession. DeVoe doubled, gets it back. Fakes, gives, and laying it in, Moses Wright. Athlete last year did a lot of his damage around the rim. A couple opportunities, he's done a better job of being able to finish. And speaking of finishing, Mr. Pope. Pope, 15 rebounds for Bethune Cookman. This one's going to roll in. Bailey. Leon Red, haven't seen him in a while. Red out of the double team pass, deflected, picked up. Pope turns and drops it in. He's got 16 points and 15 rebounds. And Georgia Tech dials up their big man right here. The pass to the corner. More firing. That's good. Brings it up. Primary ball handler here against the Wildcats. Ball fake. Scoops it up and in. Count the basket. What a play by Michael DeVoe. Right. Stripped. Got it back. Missed the back. But Banks is there to clean it up. Huge second half for James Banks. Into the paint. Nowhere to go. Kicks it out to the wing and parks. He'll drive it. And banks it in. Down by two against the Jackets. And underneath, around Banks for the lay-in by Wally Parks. To the basket, they've been able to get the bigs off the floor. Pump fakes. Maitland goes to high glass, but there he is. A stick back on the offensive rebound for Clutrell Pope. Evan Cole, you got to come over and put a body on, on Pope. DeVoe, tough shot, ties it. Boy, Michael DeVoe. Rejects the screen, goes to the wing, and parks. A drive. Another Banks block. That's his eighth for a new career high. Jackets have it. A minute 43 to play. DeVoe works his way inside. And lays it in. Works, fakes. Puts up an air ball at Banks. Rebound. Good defensive possession by Moses. Opportunity for Michael DeVoe. Inside, tipped away, and the Wildcats have the basketball again. And to shoot. Maitland to the basket. Ball of jam, tie game, Pope. Georgia Tech going for the win. They get the ball in Michael DeVoe's hands. Banks sets the high screen. DeVoe drives it in, puts it up, counts the basket, and a foul on Bethune Cookman. Get the ball over high pick and roll. And then how about Michael DeVoe absorbing the contact, getting to his left hand, and being able to finish. You saw them out here earlier working on that same play. Anything that you do is you force them to shoot a two. We don't want to foul. We don't want to. 
He gets the free throw. Seconds five. They've made only one three in the second half. Here's the hesitation, the fire, the three ball. No good. And Georgia Tech wins it by three, 68 to 65.